Buongiorno, oggi facciamo i tarabi, le borse e le pupe. E ci, ci bisogna 5 coppe di farina, un cucciolo di olio, due di is, mezzo di anisì e mezzo di sale e quattro ove. Good day, today we're making darali, which is another um, Italian <coughs> ah, not cookie but uh, a bread kind of like a, a bagel yeah kind of like a bread stick but in the shape of a, of a bagel and in my mom's town Vienna Grati they used to um, make dolls and purses out of this so we're gonna get some dolls and purses show you how to make that and they used it, you know, just what they had on the farm in Calabria, Piena Grati Cosenza. So we're going to have some fun today and we're going to show you how to make the darali, the purses, la borsa, e le pube. So we're just the waiting dog. for the yeast to rise and, you know, you use the recipe from the box with the water and um, the sugar and uh, make your yeast, wait till it rises. Now my mother had an interesting story about um, how they used to do the yeast in Italy, in town, the village she was from, because they never had yeast. So they used to make it, Ma, tell us how they made it, with a bun. Yeah, we used to get a piece of bread and put a bun, put them in the bowl, and uh, cover a little bit. And then uh, we used to pass them around from uh, the town to, from the house to house. From house to house, they pass around this bun that made the yeast. Yeah, and then they, when you make it, I think we used to put uh, a little bit of water to soften it up, mm -hmm. and uh, and then they put them in the middle of the flour and and make the yeast. That's how we used to make the yeast. Wow, that's something else. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to start mixing it up. So we're going to put some salt in the flour. There you go. And now we're going to... Put um, the aniseed. Put the aniseed in. Okay, so we're just mixing the flour in with the aniseed and the salt. Okay, so we broke the eggs in a bowl, the four eggs. Now we're going to put um, a tablespoon of oil in with the eggs and then we're going to give them a good whisk. And then we're just going to put the eggs and the yeast in the bowl with the flour. My mom created kind of a hole there. So we'll put everything in. <coughs> And then again, you want the dough to be just a nice consistency, not too sticky. So, yeah. Okay, so she rinsed the bowl out and she added uh, one more cup. Of water. Now she's going to start mixing it up.
And then once she gets it to a point where um, she can't uh, mix it with her hands like that, then she's going to start rolling it. So now she's just mixing it, rolling it, rolling it till it's nice and smooth, eh, Ma? Yeah. And pretty soon we're gonna roll them into like a oh, the size of a CD disc, I guess, and in a circle. You can see the little aniseeds in there. And then what you have to do with these is you have to boil them before you bake them. So she found that it was um, a little sticky. So what she did was she just got just wet her hands a little bit with some olive oil and started rolling again. There's all the little aniseeds in them. And she kneaded it and rolled it for probably about 10-15 minutes. So now, okay, so now she's going to make a doll. And tell us about uh, what you would do with them. Uh. With the doll? Yeah, when you made them. When I made them, I... I In pin Italy. I pinch them with the... And why would you make them? Just... Just a decoration. And the kids, for, for the sake of the kids. Mm -hmm. It really is an art. Okay, that's the whole head, then, huh? There's the head. And then we make a white little ball, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. Here's our little man. Here's our Tadalu. Now we're going to make a girl. <laughs>